How's it going everyone? It is Panjano here and in this video we're going to be covering an extremely quick optimization in which you can apply to practically any GPU resulting in lower input latency across the board in many of your PC games and in some scenarios on top of the latency benefits increased FPS. There are some GPUs which may have this setting automatically applied and if it doesn't definitely give this setting a go because alongside the low latency and FPS improvements this could potentially even help you reduce or avoid future blue screen of death issues on Windows with increased GPU stability. The setting in which we're covering in this video is MS or message signaled interrupt. Tired of seeing the activate Windows watermark, built a new PC, or just want to own Windows at a major discount, head over to WhoKeys to purchase a Windows 10, 11, Home, or Pro OEM key at a major discount. Make sure to use code PAN20 for a further 20% off at checkout, where you can use a safe and secure payment method such as PayPal. Once your key is delivered, simply input the key inside of Windows, and boom, you're now completely activated and own Windows forever. You'll now have access to all features and no more watermark. Thanks again to WhoKeys for sponsoring today. Video. In really basic terms, this is how the GPU communicates with your system via the PCIe Express protocol. This allows your GPU to notify the CPU that a certain task has been completed rather than waiting for the CPU to query it first. This way, whatever workflow your GPU is currently tackling, it can notify the CPU the moment that workflow is finished and request new data, keeping the rendering pipeline extremely efficient. And it's surprising that many GPUs even today do not have this automatically enabled. I have yet to see a system which has seen a decrease in performance from utilizing this setting and with how quick and easy it is to turn on or off, it is definitely something I would recommend you check for yourself. So whether you're on a desktop, laptop, high-end, low-end, Intel, Nvidia, AMD GPU, it does not matter. We can jump in, see if the setting has already been enabled, and if it hasn't been, we can enable it ourselves, test it out, and decide if we want to keep it on or off. So to jump into Windows and enable this setting, you can manually enable this by jumping into the Windows registry and doing a ton of different settings and changes, and it's really quite inconvenient doing it that way. But for the sake of ease of use and how I do this on all of my systems, I like to use the MS mode v3 utility. If that's still something you're not looking to do, for those of you on an NVIDIA GPU, you could follow along with one of my NVIDIA debloat guides because the application we use to debloat the NVIDIA driver, you can actually set this custom parameter inside of the debloat tool for your next GPU driver install, so you can achieve it that way. But for those of you who would like to just tackle this setting, whether it be for an NVIDIA GPU, Intel or AMD Radeon GPU, take yourself over to your web browser, head over to Google and search for MSI mode v3. Scroll down slightly until you find the Guru 3D forum section, which should be titled line based versus message signaled interrupt based interrupts. Alternatively, you can copy the URL found at the top of my screen to be brought directly with inside of here. You can do the full read up of everything with inside of it if you wish to do so and learn more about your system and message signal interrupts and the purpose of this. Scroll towards the bottom of this post, scroll up ever so slightly, where you'll then be able to find the MSI Utility V3 under the media file link. There are alternative download sources for this and you can find them, but if you do go to other sources, please do your research first and that you are downloading it from a reputable source. Once downloaded, you'll then be given the MSI Util v3 zip. I like to put this on the desktop, right click on the zip, then select extract all, select extract. Once completed, go inside of the MSI Util v3 folder, you'll then be able to find the MSI Utility v3 application. Double click on the application. If you're met with an error, exit out, right click on the application and run this as administrator, then select yes. Once you've booted into this utility, please do not change any other settings for anything else listed on here besides your GPU. Doing so could change the compatibility of certain aspects aspects of your system, like networking cards, audio controllers, USB devices, please do not just change random settings for this program. Navigate over to the name section. Proceed to scroll down until you can find your GPU. On this specific system, I am utilizing an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Super. To check and see if MSI mode has been enabled on the GPU, you can see here at the top we have the MSI mode, and the checkbox for this individual GPU is actually unchecked, meaning the MSI mode is not currently running. If this had the check mark next to it, that means that your GPU is already utilizing MSI mode, and there's nothing else you need to do. I would never recommend turning MSI mode off on a system which already has it enabled as you could run into further instability and worse performance. But for those of you like myself who have this disabled, go ahead and check the box for MSI mode to enable this. In the past, we used to navigate over to the interrupt priority, which is currently labeled as undefined, but this could be labeled as high, normal, or low for you. I used to recommend setting this to high, but I would actually recommend against doing this and setting this back to undefined. The reason I would recommend avoiding setting the priority to high, if the GPU has the highest priority still, your system could be running quite inefficiently as the GPU's interrupts are taking a higher priority, potentially causing a slowdown if the game or program in which you are utilizing is drawing a higher load from the CPU or the storage device in which you are using. Utilizing undefined means that if the GPU needs that call to be made immediately to be as efficient as possible, it can be and will be alongside all of the other aspects of your system. Make sure the MSI mode has been selected for your GPU, head over to the right hand side and set the priority to undefined.
find. Once completed, go to the top right hand side to apply, then exit out. Once completed, navigate down to your Windows button, right click on the power option, restart the system. Once restarted, to double check that the setting has been applied, jump back into the MSI utility, right click, run as admin, navigate back to your GPU and just double check that the MSI mode is now still enabled after a system restart and your GPU is now running message signaled interrupts or MSI mode from this moment. Exit out, boot into some of your favorite games. If you decided to do some quick benchmarks before doing this setting, do some benchmarks after, compare the two results and see which works best for your system. At any point in the future, for any reasons, whether it be slower performance, issues, or if you just decide you want to go back to the default setting, all you need to do is boot into the MSI utility, navigate back down to your GPU, find the MSI section, unselect it, go to the top right, select apply, and the optimization has been set back to the stock setting for your system. Let me know in the comment section down below what GPU you were utilizing and if MSI mode was already enabled, and if you happen to have any other tips or tricks, let us know in that comment section down below. If you're serious about PC optimization and have enjoyed this sort of content, please do take a look in the description down below where you can find the playlist section for GPU, CPU, Windows, and FPS guides across the board, all neatly labeled and easy to find so you can follow the optimizations which you care about the most. Or if you're just looking for a quick video to jump into next, consider checking out one of the two videos on screen now, and I'll see you guys over there.